Alright, good morning, good people. We back at it. Sorry, I'm a little late. My device was dead and I had to charge it up. Then I was rushing out of the terminal. But you know what day it is. It's a motivation Monday. We gonna get right to it with the uh, with the motivation. Cause I was telling my boy I was on the phone with, you know, the word of the day is perseverance. So, you know, I encourage everyone to, you know, just persevere through life, whatever it is you're going to do. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on the people that love you. Don't give up on the people you love. Don't give up on your dreams. You know, just keep going. Don't give up on anything. You got to see it through. Don't give up because your future self, your future self will thank you. That's how I look at it. Um, your future self definitely will thank you. You don't want to give up. You don't want to think what could have happened. And shit like that. So, um, you yeah, just keep the faith, man. I know a lot of people can say life been life. And so, you just got to stay strong. Keep going. Keep keep fighting back. You know, you got to weather that storm. Do what it is you got to do to come out on top. Do whatever it takes, you know, to be victorious, to be, be that strong individual that you need to be. Do whatever it is you gotta do. Oh uh, yeah, don't give up on, don't give up on life itself. You know, don't call it quits. Even when life gives you a reason to call it quits, you just gotta stay strong, persevere. Perseverance is everything. You know. I just had to get on here. I hate this life. I just had to get on here and give y'all some motivation. Just in case, just in case you needed it. Just in case I needed it. I needed to hear it sometimes. I need to hear it sometimes, bro. Um, just stay strong, you know. Stay strong. You never know who. You never know who like who's dependent on you for like for like encouragement or love or or just for you to be you you to be that person you are you never know how i guess powerful your voice can be so you might talk somebody down from you know uh ending it all you might talk somebody out of a bad decision you might talk somebody out of getting a car or making a choice that they didn't want to make that might hurt them in the long run or or you could just talk somebody into something good happening give somebody some great advice and then they take it you know just be positive for yourself and others you know that's all you gotta do man that's all you gotta do man just be positive People always look at me when I make that when I make that turn. Like I'm not about to hit your wheels, buddy. I'm not about to hit your wheels. But um, <laughs> yeah, man, just be positive. You know, stay strong. And I mean mentally strong too, not physically. You don't have to be physically strong to be mentally strong. It's important to be mentally strong because you gotta be stronger than things gotta be stronger than what life throws at you you feel what I'm saying if there's been times where hey you you might feel like oh well, I'm gonna do this I'm gonna get the money for this but there might have been times where you've been like down before then you you managed to overcome that shit so hey I know I've been there we all had like dark times or hard times, hardships that we managed to overcome them. So if you went through it once and got through it, you can get through it a second time and get through it again. So that's it.
that's my motivation for the day. You big. But, um, yeah, I just had to come on here and drop that drop that knowledge and drop that motivation on y'all just in case you're losing it. So, never stay, never be unmotivated, you know? I had some sort of motivation to keep it going, keep it pushing. If you woke up another day, if you woke up, you still got another day to do it. It could be anything that you want to do, so that's what I mean when I say it. So, that's my motivation, man. I'm about to get to this spot, and then... I'll let y'all in a minute. Peace. Man, oh man, I think today is just one of them days where this shit feel like it's dragging like a mug. Like, man, this day couldn't be going any slower. Maybe because it's, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, maybe because it's Wednesday, I don't know. I don't really know. Y'all believe in like superstition, like uh, like splitting the pole, and I don't know about that that one saying "step on the crack brick and my back," or a cat going under a ladder. Y'all believe in shit like that? I don't know. Or wearing what is it? Wearing white after Labor Day or something like that? Or that's just, I don't know. It'd it be so much shit. Like I said, I. I'm, I'm a rare believer to a lot of shit. I want to like, I want to give people like, I want to say the benefit of the doubt. Cause um, before I move on to my next topic, I was gonna say, when I used to do Lyft, and which reminds me, I was gonna make a video on Lyft about how a lot of truck drivers are maybe quitting. You know what I'm saying? Their trucking careers to to do lift but we'll get into that in another video but when i used to always do lift i used to ask them like you know what i'm saying like do they believe in like zodiac signs which i don't believe in that shit i don't care how you put it what sign you're talking about earth sign fire signs all that bullshit and i don't know i'm just not into that shit i hope you're an aquarius so you're this way and you're crazy because you're a Libra or a Cancer. Shut the fuck up. Man, for real. You just sound dumb as hell. I'm saying a bunch of nothing. What does a sign have to do with anything? An astrology sign is the reason why I'm lonely. No, maybe it's just because I grew up that way. You feel what I'm saying? That's the type of trauma, or I should have stopped at that light. That's the type of trauma, or or type of love that I experienced that I experienced when I, you know, when I was younger. Hey, I tried to get into that zodiac shit. I really did because I used to hear so much about it. Even when I hear stuff about myself, because I'm I'm like a Sagittarius, right? So. My birthday is in like, I don't know, like two weeks. But, um, yeah, even when I hear stuff about me, I'm like, oh, it's, yeah, I'm out going and, you know, I want to be isolated at sometimes, but, you know, I perform well around the crowd or whatever people say, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's true, but at the same time, it's like, nah, it's, some of it's not true. You know, I could be compatible with anybody, it's just, depends on you. It depends on me if I feel like being bothered or feel like it'll be good for like a friendship or a relationship. Really not into that shit. Really not into that shit. But I do want to learn more about it though. Just in case I'm just blowing it off just cause. But we'll see. I might want to read a book about it. 
cow's gonna pull it over right here. I'm chilling, dog. I'm, uh. Hey, I don't know. Fuck, I'm kind of tired. Like, today's been dragging, dude. I just had to come on here and say a little, you know, say a little piece. I get on here a little later with y'all, man. Let y'all know what's up. Probably when I get back to the terminal. So, shit, until next time. Peace. One of the beautiful things of trucking, man. You gotta get out of this tight spot again. I remember I came here last time. I was, I wouldn't say stuck, but you know, you gotta stand there back onto the street a little bit. And there was a truck there. So there's like plenty obstacles that you wanna avoid. Not blind, well, it is a blind side. get out and look when I was over there but um you want to get out and look as many times as you need to and that's the thing starting off like it's another reason why I say guys are like so prideful because starting off you might feel like oh I don't want to get out and look definitely when you're at a truck stop and it's late night and you've been driving all day whatever the case may be you know what I'm saying you don't want to you don't want to hold people up be in the way you know what i'm saying feel like feel like you're getting judged because you keep constantly getting out and look it took you 12 times to get out and look you just gotta have that shit hammered in your brain like so what i got out and look 10 12 times 10 12 times you know what i didn't hit anything i didn't break anything nothing's damaged i still got my job that's that you know what i'm saying so if it takes you that many times to get that that uh truck in that spot hey it takes you that many times no reason to feel ashamed or or weak about weak about it i'm sure even the vets first of all the vets will tell you hey we've all been there they'll tell you that and for sure we've all been there and you got to start somewhere which is absolute facts. So you shouldn't feel like, oh damn, it took me this this amount of times to get in there. Because the ones who who cause accidents at like truck stops or whatever the case may be, or whatever the case may be, parking or backing out of somewhere. Once you hit something, that could have been avoided had you got out of look or had you, you know, pull up. You know, it could have been a bunch of reasons. Oh, the curb over. Oh, I missed it actually. But um, yeah, don't be the reason who's, don't be the guy who, whose pride is in the way, just because he doesn't want to take. I'm saying like five, ten seconds to get out the truck, walk around, and see what you got to look at. Before you make your next move so that's the thing man that's definitely how accidents happen a lot definitely back in accidents not using your mirrors so just be wise when you're being out here 
just be wise that's all I can say and again that's how I've managed to you know have my CDL for three years and be accident free I should pull my hair I'm about to because I need to do a turnaround because they taking me too far out the way and that's the thing about trucking man like you miss a turn or you go the wrong way you best believe it's gonna reroute you 20 30 minutes and I might have said that already but hey I'm saying that again because if I was to go down the street like this the chances of me getting off that street are real slim because I got a 53 foot trailer I can't turn out another side street don't tear some shit up for sure i remember one time i was in chicago with a pub trailer a, tra a pub trailer is most likely a 26 footer what i have attached to me is a 53 footer so when i was in chicago i'm on like a residential side street not to mention chicago is already like short and like you know what i'm saying a bunch of low bridges a bunch of shit so I'm riding down a fucking residential street in a 26 footer just praying I don't you know what I'm saying hit somebody's shit you know tear some shit up cause hey I can't afford it <laughs> and I probably had like this much room like on either side you know to hit it to not hit a car or it's close to somebody's mirror. It's like, man, when I say I'm holding my breath and I'm turning my head left and right, left and right, making sure I don't hit nothing, that's what you got to do sometimes. But um, I guess after a while, it gets stressful because sometimes, sometimes you got to do that. Even if you do trip plan, like even if you, you know what I'm saying? Even if you do check out um, like your destination from a from from an aerial view, or you do like Google Maps, see the area, uh, the surrounding area, and you know check out all the ways you got to get to the loan dock. Sometimes you still might have to go out the way and do what you do. But um, yeah, that's that, man. I'm just reminiscing again, cause. Hey, I had some good times back in my earlier years. Not saying that I'm not having good times now, because, hey, I'm home every day, and that's fucking awesome. But, hey, this trucking shit, man, is life-changing, and I, I love it. I loved it ever since I made that change a few years ago. So, hey, you don't got to do trucking, man, but if you, you know what I'm saying, want to change your life, or you've been thinking about making a move that you think could change your life, or you know, have an impact on your future, go ahead and make that change, man. No need to be cautious or no need to keep pushing it back. No need to, you know what I'm saying, hesitate or wait on someone. Do that shit yourself. If you want to move to a different state, start over, have a new change, do that shit. Get back in this thing. Go ahead, do that shit. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to... I gotta wait on nobody. Just some more motivation for you guys. I'm on my way to this first delivery or first pickup, rather. I always mix the two up for whatever reason. I just did. I had two deliveries, and then um, I did both of those locations. These yellow lights, hey, we can't stop on a dime, man. So we're going through them. Stop like a car, but um, yeah, um, I'm on my way to this first pickup. I've been here before, so I should probably be happy to see my face. I don't know, <laughs> but um, yeah, man, just had to hit y'all with some more words of encouragement. You feel what I'm saying? So, as always, man, like, comment, and subscribe if you could. I will greatly appreciate it. I'm already appreciative and I'm forever appreciative. I'm forever appreciative and thankful, you know, for the viewers, subscribers, everybody who showed love. So, much love to y'all.
I'm gonna cop one of y'all a gift card, I swear. So, y'all stay blessed, man. I'll see y'all around for the rest of the day. You feel me? Peace. All right. Favorite word to say, I guess. I'm uh, about to call this shit a day, about to head back to the terminal. I kind of know this area, so I'm getting back. I'm not off the, uh, off the memory. I'm about to get back. Well, yeah, off the memory, not off the GPS. I actually used to live over here, so that's a good thing. It's still been quite a day, man. Can't wait to get back to that terminal. Then I can't wait to, uh, shit, go home. But after I, I leave the terminal, I actually got to take my test again, my hazmat test. And then I got a game. I got a, uh, I'm in a league. We're in this basketball league, so I got to do that around 7.15ish. So I appreciate the good luck if you're going to tell me, but low-key, I don't even think we need it. We undefeated, like, in the season and the playoffs, so. And we haven't been playing no bums. We've been playing comp, you know what I'm saying? These dudes been giving us a run. I ain't gonna lie, we played a few bums, like, we, we blew them out by, like, ah, like, 20, 30, 40 points, and I'm not even exaggerating. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, but um, yeah, it's the playoffs now, so you know the the best of the best teams only remain. So that's that. I'm not too much worried. And even last week, we were trailing by like 14 by the half. Man, we locked in and shit did it. Did it what we needed to do. Figured that shit out quick as hell. Then made a turnaround. You know what I'm saying? So. I expect the same case in today's game, or if we decide not to trail in the first place and just, like, you know what, let's just, you know what I'm saying, like, have our head on straight from the jump, and then do what we gotta do. So, yeah, um, I wish I had a, uh, like a personal photographer or something. Sure, make some more categories on my YouTube, like archives and whatnot. Because, um, yeah, I got my daily vlogs that I do, or I try to keep them daily, and then I have, like, you know, reviews or just like other videos of also trucker related stuff that I'm gonna add in there that you know that's real important that I should just make a whole entire separate video on rather than include that in my vlogs and then you know I'm also um I have a few vending machines as well so I'm definitely gonna you know tap into that put out some content on you know how to how to even land a vending machine spot or location um how to maintain it you know how to even buy a vending machine shit like that so you can come to my channel for a lot of stuff. I know, um, you might search YouTube and, you know, find, find an answer you're looking for through one person's, like, channel or a different person's channel. But I'm not saying I'm one to have all the answers. I just don't want to limit, limit myself to just trucking. You know, I also want to do, like, vending machine stuff. Um, like I said, trucking. And I also want to tap into some more content like maybe a few parodies maybe with some relationship you know sh funny shit when the time comes but um yeah we shall see man what I'm trying to take off with this shit trying to be you know what I'm saying consistent as possible I'm trying to balance as much as I can so that's what I'm on, because I got to have a, a prosperous 2024. It's going to be a great-ass year, you know what I'm saying? I'm speaking this shit into an existence.
this already. I know what time it is. I know how hard I gotta work. I know what I gotta do. I know what's up. So that's what I'm on, man. It, it, if you're on the same time, you know what I'm saying? Give your boy a like, man. Drop your YouTube in the in the comments. Maybe we can collab. We can, we can do a feature. We can do whatever. I've never been no hater. It's enough. It's enough. It's enough money to go around. You know what I'm saying? That's how you gotta think. <laughs> always crazy on um, this uh, Newburgh. Yeah, it's always crazy on Newburgh around that time. People getting out of work, getting off of work. Shit, I'm about to get off work too, head to the terminal. It's a good 25, 30 for me right now. But, um, people getting off school probably. Yeah, that's what I'm on though. But um, it's been a pretty productive day, man. So, hope Hopefully I left y'all with some, you know, some words of wisdom. I hopefully I inspired y'all in some type of way. And you know what I'm saying? We're gonna leave it as that. So like always, if you could do me a favor, man, just like, comment, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. So y'all have a good one and stay blessed. Peace.